Hey everyone, Andy here at uh, NAB 2014 in the Atomos booth here with Jeremy from Atomos. Thank you for joining me. No problem. Checking out some new stuff here, some yeah. cool stuff from Atomos coming out. Can you tell us about what you got here to the yeah, show? Yeah, so it starts probably back in December when Sony called me and said, we have what we think is the most amazing camera in the last five years. And that's the, that's this, this camera right here? A7S. And I went, oh yeah, yeah, you know, everyone sure. says that, sure, sure. Full frame 35 millimeter sensor, one to one. Obviously, no crop factor now on 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 your on your cool lenses that you that you've got, and the low light capability was just phenomenal that they were saying they had. When we saw it, it was just ridiculous. But booth, I saw it. It's crazy. You can go crazy high ISO. Yeah, crazy high ISO. Um, and I think even in you know in dark situations, you looks like daylight. And so, you know, that, that obviously makes shooting a lot easier. So I think that's one big advantage. However, due to heat and the small form factor, they can't record 4K internally. So they called me. This is the, this is the Shogun. It's Shogun. a 1920 1200 screen. Nice. At full sRGB, um, 100%. Yeah. Um, and we've also got the calibration that we have on the Ninja Blade and Samurai Blade to keep you in that nice color spec. Nice, nice. Um, you've got HDMI in and out. You've got a remote control headphone. Uh, the USB is just on this development model. That's not going to be on the on the final model. Um, and on this side, you've got XLR audio, in and out, balanced phantom mic with a Limo fly lead that comes out. On the back, we've got uh, obviously one battery. We've got 12 gig SDI in and out. So you could do up to 4K 60p with that? You can on 12 gig, but this unit will only do up to 4K 30p. Okay. And that's, they're the kind of things, you, you know that we don't do 50, 60p on right. our products that have been a couple of years old now. Right. The reason for that was the 10% of people who are using that, yeah, right. I'd prefer not to up double the price of the product right. to make that functionality. So right. to be able to record 4K 60p yeah. now is rated SSDs. Right, of course, you have to. Right, yeah. so that's not a pipeline that we want to support and it would increase the cost of the product. Right. So to only go 30p, 4K, yeah. which is what everyone's going to be using in the initial um, pickup of 4K, it, we can make it two grand. Oh, that's, that's the price point. That's the price point. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Wow. So SSD. Yeah, SSD or spinning disc for HD. Yeah. Plus, we have a rated module with two hard discs because I didn't want to lose the low-cost recording right. selling point, which our customers love. For the, for the hard drive, spinning disc. Correct. Yeah. So you've got you buy two one terabytes, put them in the rated um, caddy, which will come in the box. Nice. Hit format on the on the unit. And, it, and, and away you go, and you've got two and a half hours of ProRes 4K for um, about $100. Wow, nice, very nice. So it does Cinema D&G RAW as well, like from the C500, for oh, wow. example. Okay, so it'll work with the C500, yep. oh, wow, that's yep. fantastic. So anything pumping out RAW over SDI or, or HDMI, we will accept wow. um, and, and encode it. So we're not gonna debayer and go to ProRes, just, again, yeah. another jump in right. processing, another just, jump. You're just recording that data and putting it in. Correct, and then, then you go in and you can do yeah. your, um, and you can also probably be recording you know, on a Ninja or something at the same time in, right. for, sure. for proxies. That's nice. Um, so yeah, that, that's the Shogun. That's great. Very, very Big pleased screen, with it. Beautiful screen. Nice, nice product. It's, and so, quarter three, quarter four. Look yeah. So, th but this is a you know a working prototype. You can Super see light that. too. Yeah. Very so nice. yeah, we, we needed to make it. And the seven inch monitor, you know, when you've got that sitting up on the yeah. thing, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Small guy. Small guy. And I yeah. think honestly, this is. Big news, yeah. But for me, I love this little guy. This one is, Nin you know, my favorite. Ninja, honestly, Ninja Star, right? Ninja Star, yeah. Ninja Star, Ninja Star. See fast recorder. Yeah. Does everything a Ninja does. Yeah. So nice, fast media. Fast yeah. media, but you know what? We don't need that. Yeah. So this is Gen Two. Right. See fast. Okay. We we accept Gen One. Nice. Which for 128 gig is about I think about 250 dollars. Yeah. Right. Something like it might, might be the 64 gig one. I don't I don't want to put yeah, people it's, off. Yeah, but, yeah, it's, but it's it's much cheaper. Then, like this 60 gig one, for example, was 800 bucks. Yes, a while back. Yes. Yeah. It's a little concerning. Yeah. yeah it's a, it, that's expensive, and yeah. I don't want to push people into expensive. Right. But why did we make this? This is for the action cams, the GoPros, etc., the Sony action cam. Right. Anywhere this, we need to be small, really. Anywhere, I mean, oh, yeah, like strap it to the tripod. It lasts five put hours drone, off put one. It on a movie, put it on look, whatever. it's 100 grams, man. It's nothing at all. Yeah. 3.5 ounces. Put it anywhere you want. Power it up, nice and small. I mean, so. so so tell me about the interface. Okay, so you've got HDMI in and out, and then you've got record, play, previous and next. Right. So uh, I've got a battery here. Let me just put this on because this is a we've we've got it on the GoPro, you know, recording over there. Right. Um, Back there, yes. 
So you just turn it on. Yep. It's got an indicator for um, audio level meters. Okay. It's got the battery indicator. It's got a full battery here. Yep. It's loading the disc. So just telling you by flashing. And it has runtime run left on the, left on the media. Run, run time left on the media. This is the codec. You just hold that down for a couple of seconds and it'll flick. HQ, to LC. Correct. So, yeah. And then once you've done that, you go through each flavor and it just adjusts the, the amount of time required. This, this lock tells you when you've got a signal coming in and then you can hold this down for a couple of seconds which will give you 50 to 25 or 60 to 24. Nice. So you've got three two pull down in there as well. Yeah, we'll do the same. Oh, that's great. E exactly all the same functions. And to format the dish, you just hold the play and record buttons down. Nice. Took us a while to get that right. Yeah, it's hard. The interface is tough. You kind of and know how to do it intuitively. It makes sense. And yeah. yeah, so we spent about two months yeah. making sure that we got enough functions from the Ninja in here to make right. it usable. Right. It automatically triggers from all the start, stop, and and HDMI time code triggers that we've been developing with all the other, yeah. So it'll just auto trigger from from each uh, whichever one. Detect figures it out yep. and just goes. Nice. Yep. Nice. That's really great. Yeah. So ah. this is two nine five. Two ninety five. My goal is every MPEG camera has one of these strapped to it. And delivery. Ah, so we're already in production. Yeah. Um, it'll it'll come out of the factory around like about the first week of May. Yeah. You'll see it here, you know, in that middle of May period. Nice. This is great. Fantastic products. Your Atomos. Love the stuff you guys are doing. This is a great combo. And a great combo Thanks, with the GoPro. Andy, appreciate this is it, great. Man. Thanks so much for having the interview with me. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.